Morning, ladies and gentlemen, Berta Worry here, trusting that you are doing well, my sister and brother, trusting that you are doing well. May I ask you, did you take time out to study? Remember, we must study the word. And we know it is so late on planet Earth, <clears throat> and we have a, a big issue, and the big issue is sin. And the solution is Jesus Christ. And he state, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. And that is John 3, 16. Let us go ahead and bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this beautiful day, Father God. Right now, Father God, I ask you that you will decrease me, Father God, so that you will be increased. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. I thank you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, scripture reading is coming from Joshua chapter 5, verses 13 through 15. Joshua chapter 5, verses 13 through 15, and it reads, And it came to pass, when Joshua was by Jericho, that he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, there stood a man over against him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went unto him and said unto him, Art thou for us or for our adversaries? And he said, Nay, but as captain of the host of the Lord am I now come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and did worship and said unto him, what say my Lord unto his servant? And the captain of the Lord's host said unto Joshua, Loose thy shoes from off thy foot, for the place whereon thou standest is holy. And Joshua did so. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and the doing of his words. Okay, so uh, we are in the taking of Jericho. And it stayed here. I missed the book. Shoot, let me get that. Truth about angels. The truth about angels. I see the glare. The truth about angels. You know, we want the truth and nothing but the truth. And it says, The taking of Jericho, the captain of the Lord's host himself, came from heaven to lead the armies of heaven in an attack upon the city. Angels of God laid hold of the massive wall and brought them to the ground. Christ and angels attended uh, the circus, or the, uh, yeah, the circus of the ark around Jericho and finally cast down the massive wall of the city and deliver Jericho into the hands of Israel. And if you have the book, uh, The Spirit of Prophecy, it's coming from volume 1, pages 399. When Jericho fell, no human hand touched the wall of the city, for the angels of the Lord overthrew the fortification and entered the fortress of the enemy. It was not Israel, but the captain of the Lord's host that took Jericho. But Israel had their part to act to show, that, to show their fate in the captain of their salvation. If a single warrior has brought his strength to bear against the wall, the glory of God would have been lessened and his will frustrate and his will frustrate but the work was left to the almighty and had the foundation of the battlement been laid in the center of the earth and the summit reaches the ark of heaven the results would have been all the same when the captain of the lord's host led his legions of angels to attack. And so that concludes that topic, taking of Jericho. So as we talked yesterday, when we state uh, the captain of the Lord's host, we know that that was Jesus Christ himself. Okay, so on tomorrow, um, Wednesday, we're going to go into a review 
of angels from Sinai to the taking of Jericho. Review of angels from Sinai to the taking of Jericho. That will be our review for chapter 9 tomorrow. So may I share with you my devotion? Let me drink some water. And this cheer up, speak words of courage. Let me repeat that. Cheer up, speak words of courage. Why art thou cast down, down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him who is the help of my countenance and my God. And this is coming from uh, Psalms 42, verses 11. Let us bow for prayer. Father God, I ask for Father God to continue to take full control. I thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. And the state here. Are you standing on the side of the world or on the side of Christ? Of what value would the whole world be, be to me with all the gold and the silver that could be held, to, held together? Meaning that, you know, make it high together. It says, oh, what value would it be to you? It says, of what value would it be to you? My span of life is nearly ended. Many, many of my earthly associate are now in the grave. All that remains of our once large family is one of my sisters, and she is feeble. God has given me strength. He is the health of my countenance. Every morning I rejoice in him. I know I have committed the keeping of my soul to him as unto a faithful creator, and I know he has never failed me. If you place your trust in him, the Lord will also give to every one of you his strength, his grace, his salvation. When someone asks you how you are feeling, do not complain and murmur and try to think of something mournful to tell them to gain their sympathy, but grasp them, meaning that you can uh, grab or you can grab a hold of them by the hand and saying, Praise God. God is the Lord and greatly to be praised. I love him because he first loved me. Let your conversation be cheerful and hopeful. Do not talk discouragement, telling your lack of faith and your sorrows and suffering, for the devil delights to hear such words. When talking on a, on a gloomy subject, you are glorifying the enemy. Talk faith and hope and courage, just glorifying God. Instead of gossiping, just creating mis mischief, let us tell of the matchless power of Christ and speak of his glory, thus magnifying and uplifting, let me go back, thus magnifying and lifting up the Lord of hosts and training ourselves to sing the song of victory in the kingdom of glory. Let me repeat this. Let me drink some water. Hold on. And it's feel like, hold on. Okay, so it stayed here. Okay. It said, instead of gossiping, thus creating mischief, let us tell of the matchless power of Christ and speak of his glory, thus magnifying and lifting up the Lord God of hosts and training ourselves to sing the song of victory in the kingdom of glory. By beginning to sing song of triumph and thanksgiving now, we may prepare ourselves to sing the song of Moses and the Lamb when we meet on the, on the sea of glass. Let me repeat that. By beginning to sing songs of triumph and thanksgiving now, we may prepare ourselves to sing the song of Moses and the Lamb when we meet on the sea of glass. The Lord will be with us during this life. If we allow ourselves to be led by his spirit 
and do not neglect to glorify his name. We should bring as much of heaven as possible into this life. The light of heaven shining into the hearts will be imparted in words of pleasantness, in deeds of kindness to those who are near us. Having acquainted ourselves with God, when he comes, we will be able to say, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. Let me repeat this. Having acquainted ourselves with God, when he comes, we will be able to say, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. And this is coming from Isaiah 25, verses 9. And this is a sermon that she did in uh, uh, St. Helena uh, Sanitarium uh, Chapel. Okay, and this is state, cheer up, speak words of courage. Mm. So my sister, my brother, um, so let me do the devotion, um, not the devotion, but the hymn, the hymn, final hymn. So what can I say? What can I say? Cheer up, cheer up, cheer up. So this is state, I love your kingdom, Lord. I love your kingdom, Lord, the house of your abode. The church, our blessed Redeemer, save with his own precious blood. I love your church, O oh God. Her walls before thee stand, dear as the apple of thine eye, and graven on thy hand. Beyond my highest joy, I prize its heavenly way. It's sweet communion, solemn vow, it hymns of love and praise. Here's the last verse. Sure as your truth shall last, to Zion shall be given. The brightest glories earth can yield, and brighter bliss of heaven. Let me repeat the last one. Sure as your truth shall last, to Zion shall, shall be given. The brightest glories earth can yield and brighter bliss of heaven. I love your kingdom, Lord. Isn't that beautiful? I love your kingdom, Lord. My sister and brother, as we are getting ready for the final battle of earth history, we have to be able to say, I love your kingdom, Lord. Lord, use me for your glory. We have to get to the point, my sister and brother, that we have a close, 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 intimate, personal relationship with the Lord. That is the only way we are going to be able to stand in these last days. This is the only way we're going to be able to see the Lord in peace, face to face. If we continue surrendering our life to him and allow him to take full control. So if we have the pride and um, we are so in love with the world, my sister and brother, it's time for us to remove ourselves from the world. Because the world is not, how would you say, whirlings are not... Um, what we are supposed to be that is not our example our example is jesus christ and he is a holy and righteous um uh, god and what does that mean it's mean the same thing we as the individual has to be holy and righteous because we have to have the the the, the christ righteousness right he has to cover us and the only way he's going to be able to cover us if we are the individuals that say, Lord, use me. Lord, I have did X, Y, Z. Lord, forgive me. Lord, give me the power to leave uh, this sin alone. Give me the power to stop doing this. And, and Lord, come and take full control. That's the only way we're going to be able to state that we are living in holiness. Remember, this is not something that we can do on our own, we have to surrender our life to Him. And He is the one 
that is imparting his righteousness. He is the one that's covering us. He is the one like the baby. He's carrying us through whatever it is. Yes, we have to go through it. and <laughs> We have to go through the fire, but the Lord will go through the fire with us, okay? So whatever you're going through, he's going through it with you. And so all we have to do is to surrender, 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 surrender. And the song is like, I surrender, I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. We each have to get to that place moment by moment, surrendering, because we have thoughts that comes to our mind. And sometimes the thoughts is not from us, right? And then we got different things that we are watching, different things that we are putting in our mouth, different things we're putting on our body. And so we have to say, Lord, I surrender. I surrender my life to you. Let us bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God. I thank you, Father God. Father God, right now we surrender our lives to you, Father God. We ask you, Father God, if we have done anything, Father God, that was not pleasing or acceptable in your sight, Father God. We ask you, Father God, that you will wash us and make us whiter than snow. Clean us up, Father God. We give you permission to come in and take full control. And Father God, once you have done that, we ask you, Father God, to take the empty vessels, fill us up, Father God, mold us, shape us into what you want us to be, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that you are God, that you sit high, you look low, Father God, and you see our individual needs, Father God, and you have already dispatched angels to help us. And we thank you, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that you're such a merciful God, Father God, that you send your son to die on Calvary Cross for our sin. And we thank you. We glorify you, Father God. We praise you. We love you, Father God. And we thank you, Father God, for hearing for answering in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Okay, my sister and brother said so this was a blessing to you. Can you do me a favor? Can you hit the like button, make a comment, hit the share button. A member sharing is caring. Then you can follow me over YouTube under Brudel Warrior. While you're there, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. So when my videos goes up there to YouTube, you'll be the first to be notified. And I thank you, my sister and brother, for uh, helping me grow my YouTube channel. I thank you for coming, whether you're on Facebook or you're on YouTube. I thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to stop by here today. May God continue to richly bless you and your family. But before you go, may I have a hug? May I have a hug? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Thank you so much, my sister and brother, for that hug. I love you. I love you. Love you. Appreciate you. Until tomorrow, be blessed and take care.